Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to blend green screen footage in with a custom background flawlessly. I'm talking light wraps, blending the colors of the background onto your foreground, creating light streaks that come out of your background over top of your foreground, and flawlessly matching the colors of whatever background you choose to your foreground subject. And before we get started into this green screen masterclass, I need to let you know that this video is sponsored by my sugar daddy, Squarespace. So here we have uh, Miss Girl on the phone conducting business. First of all, we gotta key out the green screen. So I'll go to effects and presets and I'll type in key light and we'll grab key light right here and put it on our footage. Grab our eyedropper, click on the green, bam. We'll click on final result and just go to our screen mat. How solid the white is is how solid your edges are. So if you have some fuzz like this right here, we can always clip the blacks to try and get rid of that. But we can soften it up with um, a screen blur right here. And once we like how our screen mat looks, we'll just check it back to final result. And then right here, our replace method, instead of soft color, we'll do hard color. So now we've got our flawless green screen footage. Let's bring in our lava world. So I brought in this swirl whirling lava storm, and I'm gonna put it underneath of our green screen footage, and right now you can see just how uh, not matching these two clips are. So the first step in the perfect blending of screen, green screen footage and background is color matching. Now there's actually an incredibly smart way to do that here in After Effects. So right here you see these three color dots. This will show you the color channels for every single color. So your blues, your greens, your reds. And what that means is right now, if I select red, it's gonna show you everything black and white. But the thing to note is how different the shades of gray and black are from the background and the foreground. So you can see the background is much lighter than the foreground because the foreground doesn't have as much red as the background. That might sound confusing, but this is how we work with that. In effects and presets, we're gonna type in levels, or we're gonna drag the, drag the effect levels on top of our green screen footage. And in effect controls on levels, we're going to click on the channel and switch it to red. And we're gonna use these two bars here, the blacks and whites of your reds to try and match the black and white shade in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the black slider for this one, and I'm going to try and match the, the, like, the shaded gray of the background. So I'm gonna bring it up kind of like this, and I feel like this now matches the blacks and whites of the background. Now we'll come back down here to our color channel, and instead of red, we're gonna switch it to green. And now in your levels effect, instead of red, we're gonna switch it to green. And we wanna match the blacks and the whites of the background. And it looks like the blacks in my foreground are actually darker than the background. So I wanna bring my blacks up to kind of match that grayish color. I think that looks good. And the whites are super bright, so we can just leave the whites fully like this. And then in our color matcher, we'll go to blue. This is where obviously there'll be the most difference because there's barely any blue in the background. So we are gonna switch our levels to blue and we're gonna bring our white really far down. So the blacks in this match the background. That looks really nice. So now what we can do is go back to our channels here and just go back to RGB. And so bam, you can see our character here is blended in, it has the same colors as the background. But to give this a more fine tuned adjustment in effects and presets, we can type in curves and I'll bring that onto our clip. And what I'm gonna do is make it brighter by bringing this up and then creating an S curve by bringing some of the contrast down. So we get some of our darker colors back. So it's gonna look something like this. And let's say you're not happy with uh, your blending with the levels effect. You can always go back in and adjust things. Like I do think this maybe is a little too orange. So on the blues, I will drag this white bar just a little bit back up. Maybe something like this. So this is with levels. This is without levels. So the levels effect is so crucial for blending the foreground and the background together. And so how do we get the background to interact with the foreground? Let me tell you, there's the best plugin in the entire world and it's freaking free. It's called Crate's Light Wrap. I'll link it in the description below. It's on productioncrate.com, a website, not, not a sponsor by the way. This is just the best plugin in the entire world and I can't believe it's free. So once you download that plugin, we're gonna find it in our effects and presets. So right here, Crates Light Wrap. And we're gonna bring that on top of our green screen footage. Now I don't think you're ready with how much your mind is gonna be blown with how useful this plugin is. So right here you can select the background layer for your light wrap to reference. 
So I'm gonna click on none and I'm gonna select the lava layer. And you can already see it's bringing the pixels from the background on top. And what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna pre-molt the background. And so the adjustments that you need to make is right here, background blur. We're gonna crank that up. Now watch the edges of her hair. You can see the background start affecting her hair. And if you wanna make it, you know, affect more or less of the scene, you can always play around with the wrap width. So this is with the wrap really far down. This is with the wrap just on the edges of her hair. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I kind of like it when the wrap goes far onto the foreground. So this is with the wrap, this is without it. With the wrap, without it. This just blends the background into your foreground really well. And by the way, right here on your crates light wrap, you wanna drop down luminance bias just crank this up a bit. It's gonna give like the um, colors that are fading onto your character more of a gradient. So it's less intense the deeper into your subject, if that makes sense. So I usually like to crank up my luminance bias around 50. Again, just to show off how epic this is, this is with Crate's Light Wrap, without it. With it, without it. It's like perfectly blended together. So now to make this even sexier, I'm gonna take these two layers, right click and pre-compose them, and I'll just do it um, comped footy. This is another free plugin from productioncrate.com. Again, not a sponsor, I'm just obsessed with their stuff and it's changed my life as a person who uses green screen footage. It's called God Rays. I'll show you it here. You want to download this incredible plugin. So in effects and presets, we're gonna type in God Rays right here, creates God Rays. I'm gonna put that on top of our clip. Obviously it starts off by looking really crazy, but over here in the effect controls, we're gonna drop down input and on threshold, we're just gonna crank this up. I kind of like this amount of light and watch. If you grab this right here, the position, you can change where the light is coming out of the background. And I just think this is such an incredible way to blend green screen footage into the background because as you can see right here, it's now gonna make the light coming from the background wrap around her shoulder in a really cool aesthetic -y way. So if you don't want the light rays to be this intense, you can crank down the threshold smooth right here, right under threshold. And you can always crank threshold to really fine tune how this light looks. And do you see how long these light rays are? Uh, if you don't like how long they are, uh, under here, under style, you can crank up decay to make the light rays less intense and shorter. You can crank down the width, the length, which does the same thing. You can make them brighter or dimmer with the exposure right here, all very self-explanatory. But this plugin is gonna give you light that makes the bat your green screen footage interact with the background. I know this is a really silly example, but if we watch this back, you can see how this God Rays effect is making the background interact with your foreground character. Okay, so just so we're clear, we went from this to this. Absolutely incredible. You can see here the before and after of using this combination of effects of Crate's Light Wrap and also Crate's God Rays. It blends whatever otherworldly background you have into your foreground in such a nice stylistic way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you blend together your green screen footage with any random background. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will respond to everybody. And guys, it is time for a word from my amazing sponsor, Squarespace. I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world. And I wanna create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers, a nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I wanna sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines. You can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well, how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.